Yo, what's going on? Right, we are trying something different. You know, we're all about content creation and Indeed. all that good stuff. And Indeed. we want to give you quality content, not clickbait. We are here to enrich and enlighten. Uh, I've seen these work uh, in other places. Obviously, analyzing matches and, and stuff is nothing new. Um, but I've seen, like, uh, fight companions that Joe Rogan does for yep. UFC, where yeah. you'll watch the UFC show back with his friends and whatever and it's something yeah, that I've kind of wanted to do anyway for a while like just yeah, hang yeah. out and watch top eights because one of the most interesting things and I think one of our biggest strengths in the UK community is the conversations that we have yes. about the game and matches and players and, and characters and how everything's going so. we've, we've, I've definitely heard that comment every from the time I've been over there Yeah, and it could be me a problem for you by himself, for example, has mm. very different views, but it could be me and probably speaking to somebody. Yeah. And they're always like, oh, well, didn't think of that. You guys got like a quite different perspective and stuff. And I think that is definitely one of our strengths. Yeah. Not that I know every what everyone speaks about, but just from the responses I've had for yeah, speaking about the game. Yeah, of course. And it it's definitely been uh, beneficial for my commentary. It's been beneficial for, for our player base as well. So, you know, we're going to share some And we've got the group chat. Even, yeah, you even know, when mate. you're on commentary live, you get to yeah. Oh, what was that? Yeah. Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 Someone yeah, in the group chat will tell you, oh, blah blah. It was this. Exactly. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the mix-up, uh, which I wasn't doing top eight commentary for. It was Damascus and Tyrant. So this is going to be uh, even more fun to do because I didn't have the opportunity to sit down and talk about yeah, it. Yeah. I was watching and popping off and getting gassed in the crowd. So we're going to watch this back. Uh, we're going to go and start a uh, hit play on this. So the first match is going to be first match of top eight. Yeah, Daigo against uh, Dogura. Yeah, and we get this uh, this matchup. Aside from being like Canon, we've seen it before with Problem. <laughs> Canon matches. Yeah, Problem and uh, Problem and Daigo, but it was very different Gao back then because it was season yeah. three. Yeah. So Gao was able to actually zone a bit better and rush down a bit better yeah, as well. Yeah, and rush down better. But now he's uh, slightly different. Mm. I'm definitely, I, we've definitely seen this, and you're gonna see uh, Daigo abuses. Maybe I think it's a. Uh, Dogra specific uh, pattern here. So he's starting off. Wow, that's good. So you can already see he's. You can't really zone Bison. No, it does. It's not hugely yeah. effective. Um, yeah. Psycho X is really annoying, but of course, and and at any further range, that V skill. Yeah, exactly. Makes the fire fireball game Ooh, just jabs him out of the upside down. Wow, and you're basically seeing he didn't really zone a single time. No. in the matchup, he's rushing down, which is a bit crazy to me that Gal can even do that. He was rushing down um, Takedo as well, like dash up jabs, yep. making it really difficult. Uh, and yeah, like the, the light boom look, nerf as well makes look, it a lot more difficult for he's him. Done, he's again. done three dashes already. He hasn't done a single. And another upside down. Hasn't done a single boom. In. Nice check on the dash there. That's a Daigo specific technique. Then Michael walked back into the, the crouching light punch uh, boom. He boom. I was really impressed by um, Daigo's charge management as well. Like the amount of times that he was dashing forward in getting the jab or cross up. Yeah, I like I like that how he gets about, gets out. But I I prefer that um that setup that he just done when you have super because then you can get the super yeah. get Oki continue. You don't put yourself in the corner. That's a lot of grey life that he's taken. A lot. This is where Bison can. Uh, oh, nice jab. Yeah, that's that's a sick that's a sick frame trap that he does. But yeah, Bison can uh, go f basically free on en on basically any character as long as they have uh, no no V gauge. The uh, anti air crouch light punch there is important to note because you'll see that get blown up a fair bit later on. Yes, Bison's got nerfed as well as um, Gal. Still works on characters with bad jumpings, but if you got good jump uh, hitbox. Body. Nice combo. That's such a sick combo. Allows it allows him to hit confirm. He's not zoning, look, he's just literally not zoning. And you're seeing uh, Daigo jumping a lot with... Double um, dash after V-reversal, yeah. that is super not legit, but yeah. You're seeing him jumping a lot with a uh, light kick, and then he switches that to stand uh, jump heavy kick. Jump heavy kick. To, to actually beat the... Um, Crouch and light punch. Oh god. I went straight into upside down kick I knew exactly what he wanted to do with that EX head stomp. <laughs> Ready. He got saved as well on this one. I mean, it's a good trade. 
Now it's his own in. Wow, goes to both. That's actually unfortunate. Delayed. The reason why he delayed that throw there was because he, unless you do point blank downfield fist, you're not in range for a throw. Yeah. So he had to he had to walk up a little bit. Even with Bice's own throw range, he had to walk up a little bit to get the throw. Daigo neutral jump, I'm guessing for the throw. And the only reason he got he got punished is because he delayed it. Yeah. Daigo realizing there's no okay after that forward throw. See Daigo using slightly different buttons as well this season. There we go, look. That was a jump heavy kick for the um he got counter hit as yeah, well. For the yeah, this this Daigo is just all forward all the time. I was saying in the crowd when I was watching this, I haven't seen Daigo walk forward this much until uh, since. Do you remember when he played Takedo at Red Bull Kumite and he rushed Takedo down? Yeah, yeah, that was ridiculous. Guile. It was mad. Like it was all. It was shades of like old Street Fighter Four E, where he just hold forward on the stick. I guess was it who that Keiki D he did it against? So held forward. And instead of using um, like so back kick, he's using just stand medium kick low forward. He uses low forward a lot in this match. The button's really good, man. The, the stand medium kick button he's using to whiff punish is really good. And low forward, even though it's minus four on block, even though people should be pressing their button, they still ha they don't seem to be doing that. Mm. But even though it's minus uh, that well, crash counter, it's minus four. It's, it's still good. Just the range that it, it, it has. Oh, here we go. Throw. Is there another one? Plus again. For a crush counter. This is scary. Dogra is actually scared to anti here now. Yeah, he's just taking the blocks. He's scared to anti here because the jump heavy kick. This is taking the blocks. Guess the round. I'll try to even it up. You don't want Daigo to Look at this guy. EX so that he can't absorb it with a V skill. Yeah, a lot of people are asking, um, oh, Bison can use the V skill against this and that. It never works against EX. Never works against EX. Uh, against, it's not against like it's not a multi hit thing. Yeah, against projectiles, you can actually absorb yeah. the first hit, but you're always going to get hit by the second hit. Nice V reversal. Flash kick. Yep. I like how he walked back because in the last round he got uh, the, the EX head stomp beat the sonic boom that he tried to do. And like he did it in a string just like this. Oh, and he just got hit raw by that. Look at that! Still alive. Wow. Yeah, stealing frames. Yep. Brave man. He wasn't plus enough to like get cross countered by pressing jab there. I don't think so. No. So the jab was. He could get crouch medium punch into blast. <coughs> and he wasn't gonna it. die. Yeah. From jabbing there. He wouldn't have died. He's looking to do the same to Dogra. He's looking for his points, man. Yeah. Very important to get a good head. Two go. Two games up. Look at the walk. Why does Daigo have the same walk speed as Akuma? <laughs> <laughs> just Daigo, not Guile, just Daigo. He gets hit by another jump roundhouse. Nice back dash. Stood in his face. Yeah, that little micro walk back into the crouch again. No, nah, he's anti airing properly, you see. Finally. So he's anti airing with. Whoa! Ready he's like anti that? Anti airing with crouch. He just walked off the screen again, now. This is like. This is basically like his, his strategy against problems. Nice, yeah, yeah. Again, <laughs> he keeps delaying. That's why it's, it's working. <laughs> the bomb setups have not been affected. Absolutely not. And Daigo is getting a lot of mileage of these neutral drums there. In the corner, not pressing any button. Dogra try again. He gets the. He wasn't pressing anything. No, it was good to take that throw as well to give up the round. He's two 0 up as well. Just showing him that it continues. It continues the pattern of him having to walk up and throw late. Yeah, yeah. Which he's punishing him really heavily for. On the instances where he is yeah, making yeah, the read, yeah. and he's maybe got he's got rounds to spare, so he can continue. I mean, maybe maybe Daigo sniffs something out. Maybe he's aware. Letting that people do things. Minus four. I'm, I'm surprised people yeah. don't press buttons after that. I'm really surprised. Head stop incoming. Yeah, he can almost he can always throw out a free like stand fierce after that. Yeah, pretty much. Minus four is very big. Daigo's so willing to take the command grab. 
fighting. Tagonauts really, I mean, Kyle is one of the characters having the luxury of... Oh, oh my god, god, he keeps doing it. Sonic Hurricane. And he's not, there's no air to airs here either. Yeah, he's, he's, he's basically, um, he's got a bad habit. He's got a bad habit of anti airing with crouch jab. He must have played Bison somewhat in the previous uh, seasons. Yeah. Because, um, for example, Problem uh, doesn't really do that too much, uh, like as in on reflex. He, he will do it deliberately, but not like... Especially against characters that have got really good down, yeah, like downward good jumping. face and jumping. Oh, he tried there. He tried to air to air the um, jump back there, but Daigo too quick. Look at this fireball game. Yeah, head stomp is so good. He keeps jumping back in the corner. I'm surprised. He's, he's, he's super comfortable with reverse. Look how oh far God. he walked up. Will we finally see the first pop setup? Another of this universal. Set because Tiger has left all of them blocked it. Nah, he walked up way too far. Yeah, that's plus double digits, by the way, so. Yeah. Explosions plus 14, right? Michael yes. Wait, that was a great challenge, but did not convert on this one. This is where you can really threaten Guile. When you're at the range where, like, you can't really jump, you can't really throw booms, you can't press buttons. Yeah, at that range, he's I super mean, right comfortable. Now, but nice. but that was a punish? Yeah. The recovery on the Sonic Boom is worse like that. Saving the first match point. That's crazy. Back to it. Two one in this set. Dogra as well. I mean, we're saying a lot of Daigo being on great form this weekend. Yeah, he made the read. Dogra is having the time of his life there. He's playing amazing. He had mad, he had mad plus frames, obviously, of the of the blocked um, blast release of whatever it's called, the V school. Oh, you mean the V school? That's the uh, plus. What? How fast is the downfall axe again? Uh, 18, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so that's the, the, that is that, the V-Skill, plus 15. So from full screen, that's going to be even more... Yeah, he can literally do like a scissors sometimes. Heavy scissors. Can't Again, get him. he tries to crouch light yeah, punch, and he's the, getting He needs to get it out of, his, out of his system, because I like that. The, the like, Daigo's not even really bothering with dash anymore, because he knows that the muscle memory is there for the anti air of the crouch light punch. He doesn't even need to distract him with jab to get away with jumping. Yeah. So he has to do that last he, needs, he needs to get that out of his system. Yeah. And that's, that'll and take a while for him to basically lose like that yes. before he can do it. You can see he's just, yeah, he's just stand blocking now. He's not even. Look at the jumps! Options. That was actually playing like an actual scrub. <laughs> This oh, is CFN Games. Daigo's actually playing like like he's a scrub. But he's not. It's, it's but he's it's calculated because yeah. he, he's getting away with yeah, it. Yeah, it's more like to do with. Oh, you're not anti airing me. That's super important as well. If, yep. if a strategy is working, doesn't matter if you don't like how it works. Keep doing it until yep. you're shown not to do it anymore. Yeah, that's 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 tournament experience right there. That's damage, man. That's one bar. I like that crouching light kick he just did. Can we go back a bit? Yeah, of course. Oh, what time are we on? Oh no, where's the mouth? No, I've definitely seen a lot of uh, Japanese players do crouching light kicks after their strings. Uh, this is bare finickety, hang on. Yeah. I want it to say like 19 minutes. Try that. Yeah, just there, let's go. Yeah, start the round again. So basically, um, a lot of uh, Japanese players, they'll do strings that are too far for anything else. But, like here, look, that crouch like it there, yeah. that lets you check if they're walking back or not. Yes, that's information. Yeah, so now he can get crouch, now he can do crouch and medium kick after that and yes. learn to EX scissors straight away without having to worry. And a lot of Rashids do it, um, Venom started uh, to short, do it. Short, short. They'll do any string, medium, medium, and then because they're too far for anything else, they do yeah. crouch and like to see if you're standing still. And if yes. you, even if you're jumping, it'll hit. And then they do EX well because you're like, oh, I've got a block now. Yes. Uh, Venom started doing it with Nikali. Uh, uh, who else also did it? Bonchan used to do it with um, mm. Na Nash as well. Daigo, just, he just went a bit crazy. He, he literally got away with jumping. Yeah. And if Dogra was to watch that back, he'd, be, he'd know immediately that if I just anti aired that whole match would be completely different. Or air to aired. Or air to aired. Which he did try once. Like once. Yeah, but he tried it on a jump back in the corner. Yeah. That's not really a kind of react. That's a different one. That's like you're ready for it. That's not like reactionary, you know? Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, for sure. Daigo recognized that uh he was just not anti airing mm. or anti airing with the wrong button and then he just took him out all right so next we got absolutely this guy is so yeah, he's, he's we have number one right now. He's this listen he's honestly this was like the match i was looking forward to the most because i mm. felt like angry bird 
is the, the way he plays Punk isn't used to it Punk's not used to someone who's so erratic and able to throw in randomness mm. and he's ready and for solid yeah, well. and solid yeah and solid he's like he's, he's, he'd rather play Mamochi's style because that's a lot of footsies right and Karen excels in footsies there's a lot of um, familiarities there in terms of Ken, I guess, as well. Where yeah. Like, just having the right mix of crazy yeah. and the right mix of solid is definitely better than trying to play the character solid because I yeah. don't think he's built for solid. No. And trying to play way too crazy. Yeah. There you're seeing already the angle. If, if Zeku jumps from that angle, you can only air to air him. Karen specifically, yeah? Yeah. 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 Karen specifically. <laughs> That's that's one of the biggest things in this uh, matchup. Bare plus frames. Uh, Bare plus frames in his yeah. corner as well. <laughs> one of the biggest things in this matchup is basically just try to anti air again with crouch fierce and got. Yeah, you have to you have to know how to deal with his air approach because he's Zeku has good jumping. Problem X got really really badly beaten at Brussels. Yeah, and clearly didn't have a familiarity in how to deal with the air approach as well. Yep. He was finding that really difficult. And I think that's something that everyone's going to have to put a lot more work into. Old Zeku in the air. Yeah. Back throw for 7 million damage. Even Young Zeku. Oh my God. Young Zeku's jump, that jump medium is really good. And you see that, that, that activation there, the sweep activation from Punk? Yeah. That's a nervous activation. That's how I need something. Yeah, that's, that's how I need to be plus so that I can get out of the situation. Jeez. Sweep activation is not a common activation from Karen unless they're they're trying to get out of the situation. Because it's kind of like a waste of the activation, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, there's still be a plus four, but you usually have to walk up. But it's usually just a way to get plus so you can get out of a situation. And you usually see Karen's doing it in the corner and stuff. So if he's doing it mid-screen, that means he's unfamiliar, panicking a little bit, and he just kind of needs to get out of a situation. And that's a fortuitous jump in. Yep. Made the read fortunate the jump in there. So yeah, I think this matchup. I don't think this matchup's hard in uh, any way. I think it's like five five, mm. but you have to know how to deal with his um, air approach because his air approach is good. It's just too good. So that range, yeah, that was okay for the for the crouch fierce and the forward momentum. Yeah, Punk is uh, playing like a very defensive style. Nice. Yeah, can't can't be can like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's got that he's got that on deck. Nice, there's an air to where you need, but that's Pop unfortunate, yeah. Corner, yeah. You can't do anything about that. We'll do it all the time. Fishing for that roundhouse. I don't know what he saw there, but he was so... It weren't what he was looking yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> he was so, like, sure. He was so sure that that hit. That was like one of those wishful... Wishful confirms. Definitely, mate. Uh, Zeku actually minus if you uh, stand block his um, yes. slash. His air, his, his boost and flip, old Zeki, but then he can grab you. So there's a, a man game there. That back throw does too much damage, 160. Yeah, look, Punk is playing an extremely lame and slow paced game. Nice, cut, nice confirm. Here we go. Nice confirm. As normal from Punk. Oh, he didn't oh, confirm no. it. Didn't believe in it. That's a hard. That's probably one of the harder confirms to do. It and you have to just see that it's it's actually hitting, and then just press the punch button. You automatically are hovering over the kick button to go backwards. Yeah, because you've seen that the low forward's been blocked. Yeah, exactly. That back throw is actually too too damaging. 160 does too much damage. It's a combo, man. Yeah. So you. So what we're seeing here is Punk play trying to play an extremely lame game. He's only trying to play reactionary, anti air the jump ins and stuff. He's trying to stay at a certain range. Uh, but the reason why that won't work as well is because Zeku's forward walk speed is way quicker than Karen's back walk speed. Yeah. So he's finding himself just cornering himself. And he's here you're going to see the anti-air that I was talking about. There you are. You see him attempt it. it that, that stand fist is one frame. So especially in the corner, it's extremely hard to get. He tried to anti-air a bit and then just got caught low. Angry Bird was going to do that anyway. But if especially when you're not super familiar with the jump park yeah. and the timing of the jump in specifically. Yeah. He said it's I, I feel like his, his empty jump as well helped. To help that with mm. if he made if he made press the medium it might have hit but he empty jumped as well so <laughs> definitely made that with yeah. hence the good reward you get from anti-airing with a stand fierce into that mix up 50 50. 
This is looking like unfamiliarity for Rodo. And uh, Angry Bird looks very uh, familiar because he's almost always jumping from an angle that's hard for Karen to deal with. Nice anti air that does a lot of damage. Looks like uh, Angry Bird's looking to just stay up the old a bit more. This time goes for Yang. Great good from the damage this character does yeah, is insane. The stun bar is full up off of one combo. Again, you're seeing that I just need to be plus activation. Of course, Punk Man. I feel like he, he, just, he just becomes a different beast. Wow. Damn. The odds are against him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Bit impatient, but this time back dash to sweep. punish is huge there. Punk by the bay, a bit too far to activate this time. Oh, oh, nice. Goodness, that Zeku, man. What you don't know what's going on. Zeku's just insane to deal with. He's playing absolutely ridiculous. Can he really insane to deal with this character? There's a lot of plus Look frames at the and damage. great walk speed, yeah. The, the bar, that one bar. Look at the damage. Punk is maintaining composure, though. With all, has an end here, available there. But nice backdash, he was expecting uh, oh. a... Yeah, off the wall, blocks it, back from... 3 old Punk, the best in the world right now. Punk's gonna go and sit in the crowd and ponder? have a think about that and come back later. But yeah, that was... Against Zeku, any Zeku that you're gonna play, the first thing you have to know when you're playing Zeku period is they're going to jump. Yeah. Every single one of them. They're all going to jump, and he's not a Zeku's not a solid character. He's not like a, 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 a Karen or a Colleen, where the jumps are a, a, a lot more rare. He's or even Birdie, for example, jumps are a bit more rare. He's going to jump, and he's going to keep jumping. That's that's the kind of character. He's jump, dash, like run up on you, run stop. So immediately from from, from the first moment you're playing a Zeku, even if you don't know the matcher, know that they're going to jump. So always have your anti air ready. Always have your anti air ready. So Kami would do well against him because she's got good anti-air Akuma, Boxer, Boxer all those characters yeah. are very easy quick anti-airs they'll do well on at least keeping him on the ground because you have to you don't have to think about your anti-air character like Karen uh, where it's all spacing dependent and stuff like that or you have to air to air it's yeah. a bit more difficult but once you get that down the matchup is 5-5 I think and we'll probably see that in the run back yeah I'm definitely interested to see um, and analyse pull apart how he um, how Punk kind of dissuaded him from taking to the air but um, we're going to go and have a look at losers bracket now yep Haitani versus Fudo was the first one for in losers uh, and uh, Fudo goes for birdie uh, he must have um, oh, I, I do think uh, Kuma beats uh, Mika Mika anyway but they might have uh, had a previous previous games and of course he's coming off the back of that really impressive performance at NCR yeah. um, against Takedo but even though Takedo beat him in a uh, I would say an unstable way. Yeah, I still think. But I feel like you have to play that that yeah. way against Bernie. Um, I really think this matchup is is, is really bad for Akuma. Like very very bad. His neutral game is kind of shut down. Even his V trigger one, like as you're seeing here, that's not as effective against Birdie from a certain range because because he's got ball. Yeah, the ball just blows right through it. And he gets set up afterwards. Yeah, as well. that's the one he gets Oki from. Man, he confirmed that. He can, you can confirm that. Yeah. Yeah. There's hit stop on the first hit. It's like a reuse. Nice. Reuse heavy DP now. They change it so there's hit stop on the heavy DP. So it stops for a bit and allows you to press the punch button again for the confirm. I'll give Haitani the benefit of the doubt and say he can confirm that as well on the can. Bad matchup or not, he's gonna come. Cross up. That's why that came out. Crossed himself out. But um, yeah, for me, I feel like this matchup is quite bad uh, because of the consistent risk Akuma has to take. He can barely throw fireballs. Yeah, playing on the ground is really, really bad for him yeah. in terms of risk reward. That medium punch just just clatters everything then, that he yeah. wants to put out on the screen, and fireballs are not in any way viable. From the, the, the distance they get with punish from, or, or yeah, punish from is just a bit ridiculous. And you've all, of of course in V Trigger Two, he's always got the risk of that stand fierce. That stand fierce just occupies. Can't again, v can't do it ever. Not. That was an instant one. Like, the one that you're not supposed to be yeah. ready for. And Fudo was actually putting up uh, a bunch of posts on Twitter about um, how he holds yeah. Bullhorn as well, um, which was quite interesting to, to look. There was a couple of... He used a bit of a Twitter translate on that as well. But uh, Wow, ready like that? Look at the damage on that end here. That was well worth it. Gets Fortunate jump in there. And you're seeing Haitani is literally continuing to jump. That you was can't nice get dissuaded punish? because yeah. there's... 
there's no real benefit for playing on the ground. It's a losing game. At least in the air, you've got the odds of. Oh, nice. At least in the air, you've got the odds of maybe they're making the wrong read on your air approach. Not only that, they the birdies play on the ground a lot. Stand yeah. fierce and things like that. Even stand medium can get jumped if you jump yes. and they do the stand medium at the same time. Yes. Uh, so even birdie, birdie wanting to play on the ground is that's the risks he takes. Mm. Possibly getting jumped in. He has got a lot of recovery in his stand medium yeah. approach, which does make it jumpable. Um, but even if you do catch them, there are kind of options that you can mix up. Mix up. Ah, uh, yeah, Akuma can. Yeah, that Akuma has that other Shotos don't really have. Um, yeah, that, if that, that was fireball jumping that would have hit him. Yeah, that fireball as well is one of them. It, it kind of stops him from just doing only using crouch and medium. medium punch, yeah. Look at the whiff punish on the crouch and medium kick. Why can he whiff punish the crouching medium kick? Even um, I saw even Takedo using like the normal command dive kick, not demon flip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Did you see that range? Therefore. That was silly. <laughs> and once you're in the corner, there's there's really not a lot of Kuma can do to fight his way out of the corner against Birdie. That was stupid. That range. I've literally never seen it been got hit from that far. <coughs> Shoto hurt boxes on fireballs are really bad. Nice, nice buffer. Get one of those a set. Wow, Fudo wasn't pressing anything there. He was actually allowing him to. Wow, wow that was that fortunate. Recovered in time. It moved him forward as yeah. well. Oh, that's a he horrible. did. That's a horrible round. What is this he had damage left character? Over. He had damage left over. That V trigger two is absolutely obnoxious. That's childish. <laughs> that is some childish damage. Irresponsible. Irresponsible damage. <laughs> Look how much it did. There was bare damage left over on that. Well. Yeah, that crouching medium he done to anti air actually moved him forward. Moved him forward. So yeah, the so the fireball like Because normally that normally you try and do that and then you go back and the fireball clips you, especially the V trigger one. That jump fireball's forward, but yeah. it was just a bit too close, so you got um it whiffed. Nice blocks. I hate there you getting, go. I hate getting clipped by the second one and they're like plus twenty yeah. something. You actually nice. can't whiff heavy buttons. Uh, Kuma can't whiff his heavy button no. in front of Bernie. You were saying earlier that's a free standing medium point. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you seen him block the fireball that time, not anti air. Nice. Nice throw. Actually, another reason why B Trigger Two is is more. I like it late, V Russell. Oh no. Oh, you're dead. That's unfortunate. That is an actual combo as well. Yeah. The, the normal DP would have worked, I think. Yeah, he delayed that V reversal on um, the air fireball there. So it was, it was kind of like if you're ready, are you ready for the delayed one though? Just hold him forward. Look at this button. That, that you have to jump. Yeah, there's not a solid strategy at that range at all because he can't throw fireballs at range. It's already shown him that he can bullhorn that. There's the command dive kick. He, he basically has to buffer all day outside of. Oh my what? God! And then the super. Ugh. Why can it go through the fireball? Like, is there no? So it could be a one frame gap or a two frame gap. It can just go through it anyway. Yeah. Oh. No way, man. Damn. This matchup looks like a clean 6 4 to me. And now that he has um, V Trigger 2, he must. Now he definitely can't whiff a button in front of me. Oh, he tried to do the crouch fist and the. Uh, should have just done a crouch medium. Yeah, there needs to be a three frame gap. For it to happen. Well, two frame gap because it's projectile invincible on the third frame. Yeah, okay. <coughs> That's game. So he ain't doing that on Kage, but other than that, everyone else is taking that. You don't even have to do it against Kage. His fireball does nothing. That was definitely not what he wanted, and he could definitely, uh, he can definitely lose this round. Oh my what? God. What are you so on about? Oh, it's hit. I went 50 50. Not like this. See, Russell. Tries to overhead. Oh, oh, no. Wow, took him out of no range way. of the slide after two chains available for him. Oh yeah, he's got two more. Two chains! Like, one, one touch could, could be... Yo, this is... Step, this, like, he could actually lose if he gets, like, clipped by anything. Yeah, don't really want to get into that situation, so he's... Haitani is correct for playing this way. He's, he's doing crouch medium kick nothing to try and bait the bullhorn as well. I mean, that Street Fighter 5 in a lot of situations though, when your opponent's got no health and you've got a big chunk, but yeah. the next hit for both of you could win the round. 
Yeah, 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 you have to, you have to just wait. <laughs> Why not? That is God like anti air. You can see him throwing out mediums to buffer just in case he can catch a. I like that, he was ready even though the space, even if he got hit, if it's space too far, combo will miss. The readiness. <laughs> Bit too slow, mate. Oh, that was a nice punish. Yeah, he was ready. I am so surprised. I'm so surprised Fudo just didn't block high that time. Oh, that's going to be the punish of this and big boy damage as well to get Katani the coming back. You can I see that he's changing up his approach on the ground and in the air. And yeah. I like the... He's putting too much doubt in um, Fudo's mind with the low forward nothing as well. For the bullhorn. He's pretty much given up on throwing fireballs. You can't throw them. Like, you can late react, you can react so late and still punish it. It's actually very bad. Because when shows that that stays out for time. Yeah, it's the, it's the hands afterwards. Time. <coughs> Birdie, man. Especially because he gets Oki afterwards as well. It's yeah, it's the, it's the ball when he does get Oki off, not the one he doesn't. Should really be the other way around, but I understand why they made it yeah. so that this get Oki, because you have to hold it. Hold the button. But sticking out with Birdie, Birdie, uh, you know. Final game. Like said earlier, just so All right. Shout out to Haitani, though, for keeping it this close. Got a lot of options. He's done that. He did it for the whole top eight, didn't he? Yeah, man. The demon down. No, he's, he kinda, he's kind of like been overshadowed now because he's playing Akuma and Takedo's like the Akuma. But he's Akuma for ridiculous. As you can see from him being in the. Uh, there yep. you go. So you can vary the timing up of those aerial attacks, and it doesn't matter if he has pressed the button or not. For me, it this is a little bit of a guess, yeah. but it's not enough of a guess to yeah. make it favourable. For me, this seems like um, uh, Fudo unfamil is unfamiliar. Mm. He's not used to birdie because you're not supposed to be using bullhorn on reaction. Bullhorn is something you're you're already looking for this jump, and then you use it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you don't really do it on reaction. You should be like, I already know what's happening. That is the, that's definitely the comp's uh, <laughs> the comp's the comp's uh, the comp's tech. You can always see he's always at least buffering that stand medium. Yeah. Yeah. No, again, he, he again. I think he used the, the, even a medium or heavy version. If you use the light version, it goes a bit uh, steeper. Yeah, yeah, the angle of the fireball goes yeah. closer. I like it. There is no way I'm giving you this Oki. Again, he just needs to let it go. Bob, is, is, is V Trigger 2 a thing in this matchup? Yeah. V Trigger 2 is. I've seen um, them use it, but what they usually use it for. This is like a waste of time. Yeah, but then nothing changes. The air fireball is a waste of time. Well, at least you're getting like some great health. Damage, block strings. But you have to get in to do that. Yeah. The thing is, you don't have to. Bro, why does he get that? I'm so jealous. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> so thought that crossed jealous. up. I definitely thought that just crossed up. Yeah. Shout out to EX Demon Flip. What kind of situation? Is he dead? No, he's very close to dead. No, no DP. Oh, he's the EX. Okay. Oh, the hard read. The wake up grab. Yeah, he did that for the shimmy. He did the. Well, he did a normal grab there, didn't he? Yeah, that was a normal throw. Yeah, he just he just teched. Fudo, we didn't see a I lot think. Bro, remember. That set. That set was just uh, like Titani came back three games straight. Oh, that's gonna be big. I'm oh, sure he does a normal grab though. Yes. Oh no, yeah. He did the command grab for the shimmy. The walk back, yeah. Yeah. Walk back medium yeah. kick. Yeah. He went for the hard read. He went for the problem read against Nakudi, but <laughs> didn't work. Speaking of, we have the Evo champ, current Evo champ, going against number one in the world on Online. CFN. Yeah. yeah. On CFN. <laughs> Trash box. Um, we had a lot of side bets in the crowd on this. Um, not on who would win because everyone was in agreement that Problem X was going to win. But yeah. on how many games Trashbox would get? Um, I was fortunate enough to get odds on whether he would get a game get two games. Two games. Okay. That's free money for me, in yep. my opinion. I don't think I don't think Problems losing two games in a first of three set against any birdie. Yeah, I I honestly I said I Punk tweeted made out. the three nil call. Yeah. In fact, I tweeted out and I just said this guy in terms of strategy and game plan. I feel like he's just the best in the world. He's the best in the world when it comes to game plan strategies. Like, Birdie, I, ca I can't see how Birdie is supposed to win 
with the strategy that probably yeah, unless you start running into stuff for no reason nice he started he's, he's finally starting to punish that um ex bison's actually got one of the furthest reaching light normal yes I don't, know if you, I don't know if people know that, but yeah. Yeah, I was trying to do some uh, block strings in the corner with Ken, and like his light kick was Reach is very just far. clipping me yeah. bare far away. So now it's a game of attrition, and he's just going to lay me out. What is Birdie supposed to do if someone's laying me out? He wants to stay outside that stand fierce range yeah. if he can. That's this is the this is the problem here though. He, even though Birdie has the um, plus anyway. Yeah, even though Birdie has the the range and stuff like that mm. he can push you back while being plus plus he bison can just use ex scissors and now you're getting pushed back all the yeah. all the ground you're gaining i'm getting it back and i'm plus so i get double the ground <laughs> nice. and like, as you've seen yeah and now he's got all of that stage to go back into as and when he wants yep. those sweeps are yeah, they're working out but they're very unsafe as well yeah, it's not a reliable strategy. Like getting, getting, getting hit with a sweep or trying to put out that roundhouse or fierce. That can all be whiff punished pretty easily. Yeah, it can be punished. It doesn't even. Not only whiff punished, you can actually be punished on block as well. Mm. You're that was not sick. You're not really gonna see problem ever jump. He doesn't really need to at all. Look, it's just harassment at this point. That confirm was ridiculous. A lot. There's a CA. That confirm was really because he, he. How many times did he block it? <laughs> Blocked it a million times. You have to hold that as bison. It's plus bear, yeah. 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 Plus one on the on the stand heavy kick. Meaty. <sighs> that overhead reaches so far as well. Again, so it's a slow game. Trashbox is very patient as well. But I just think if we're playing a slow game, Bison has the chip. He's got the safe uh, pressure. Yeah. Continuous pl um, plus pressure as well. He's calling problems plus. He can he can um he can punish his V skills. There you see the whiff punish on the sweep that he keep trying. So if he doesn't have um if he doesn't have EX bar, can he punish oh can yeah, he punish V skills still? Yeah. You have to be at a certain range just as heavy scissors. Normal scissors, yeah. yeah. Wow, that was Need flattering. Bear crush counters. Trashbox presses a lot of buttons. I'm surprised he presses. Well, he blocked, the, he blocked the button there, and Problem does it all the time. He'll do a jump in, and then he'll just do straight stand heavy kick, because that's enough of a block string where it's like a two frame gap. Yeah. So your, any button gets, gets punished. Any jump or backdash attempt yeah. gets grounded. So he does that all the time. He's doing that regardless. The only way he's getting out of that is if he does uh, EX. EX um, armor. But he doesn't. Yeah. Really do, nice backdash. But that's a that's, that's a, a hard read as well. All right, pressure. Yeah, exactly. The EX armor is going to lose to light. Oh, nice. I'm so surprised he was ready for that. That must hit, that must mean he's always holding it because he hasn't done that. Pretty much. He uses um, standing medium punch bullhorn. Yeah. With punish. So okay. He yeah. Is always holding. It. <coughs> pressing buttons. Yeah. As soon as Bobbin sees you pressing buttons, it's long for you. It's very long for you, and again, yep. just does the same string. Yep. Now he's well, back what are you going to do? And this was like problem against Fujimura. He doesn't need to do anything. That activation like, is not scary. It's one of the problems with V-Trigger 2. The activation yep. is not great. Minus 8 on block. Minus 5 on hit. So this is where um, this is where I said this strategy he's playing. There is nothing, buddy. If buddy has to chase you, he's not gonna win. He's not winning that matchup. No, that's not how he wants to play. He's not winning the matchup that he has to chase. It's not happening. Mostly. And you're ready for the air, man. That's that's the sort of things that set problem apart from all of the other. Why can he do that as well? Yeah, he's he he hit low. He's even ready there. Thankfully. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Because Kage can uh, V skill it. Oh, he tried. That was that he's tried Otherwise, that matchup will be like 8 2. Nice buffer there. He's still doing that sweep. I'm surprised. You can see the online in Trashbox, though. He's just running. He's running set plays. And I don't mean like set ups. Like he has a. He has like an order of things that he will continue to keep doing. And yeah. hopefully it will eventually work. Yeah, he's going to throw him this time. Yep. 
rather than really adapting. And again, there you go. Nice, he tried to catch him. <laughs> that command grab should have worked, but the range is terrible in it, thank God. Yep. Yeah, he's ready. He's just down back. Nope. What? And that's exactly the same way that he got into top eight, yeah. beating Fujimura. You like. cannot dash, especially with Birdie, at a bison, or this bison, for example. Now he's just sitting there. And this is the problem with Birdie, he's not made to approach, he's got a slow dash, yeah. super yeah. high arc jump and and his V skill that gets him in the can takes forever. At that range, there's actually nothing he can do. He has to literally walk, walk up slowly. More buttons, rare jump in. I like the bait as well on, on problem, the bait he done. Yeah, yeah, back throw was definitely there, slides to get out, and he's back to full screen. Ooh, that, that wasn't a wasn't trade a combo, but yeah. got him anyway. And yeah. you're seeing him go a bit crazy now. Which you have to do. Yeah, this, like is, how you, this is how you have to play the whole game. Yeah, if you are going to play this matchup, you have to throw in ball revenges. Because you can see problem is trying to maintain that range and that spacing and down back in a lot. All right, let's. right, you've checked the dash. I understand you're ready for the dash. What else are you ready for? Yep. Again, he's using that blast. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. Rift and he gets back for him. That's this, getting back thrown by Birdie is horrible. He could lose this easy. Oh my god. Try to not quick rise. Stay there. Oh, he still held up forward. Tried to jump out like four times in a row. <laughs> yeah, he could lose that easy. Yeah. Nice. But he's minus five on activation. Alright. This strategy is too strong, too good against Birdie. I don't think there's a Birdie in the world that can be Problem. It's just, so, it's just such an anti-Birdie strategy. But he's still doing that. Um, I definitely, that's definitely like one of problems. Like if you had like bars and stats, yeah. Like strategy, I think he would be in the nineties for strategy. Yeah, his, his, his strategy is too good. His strategy development. That's why I'm really interested to see like him play Angry Bird again in the future. Yeah. Because after that set up Brussels, that would happen. Oh, I'm twice. It definitely won't happen like that. Like he might lose again. There you go. The late cycle crusher. He might lose again, but it ain't gonna be the same. And yeah. He's gonna come back with new stuff. That's what problem runs. Now he's got that. All of that stage. If he wants to use it, doesn't even need to. No. Plus frames again, more plus frames, more plus frames, and look at all the grey and chip coming off. Oh my god, that block string went on forever. What are you supposed to do in that situation? That was unfortunate. No, he didn't press a button. That, if he pressed a button on the way down, he probably would have got hit. He probably would have got hit. Yeah. Against most normal human beings as well, they'd have probably jumped a bit later. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Stand mid kick is annoying to deal with as well. Similar to Karen's mm. stand mid kick. <laughs> it's not really whiff punishable. It's, it's like evil reuse from Street Fighter 4 stand mid yeah, kick. It's yeah, just yeah, so it's just annoying. Just annoyingly taking up space. Minus two, but can just press a button after because it's just so well spaced.